Hey friends, it's that Moretti guy. I hope you had a great vacation. I had a great vacation as well. So it's so exciting to be back to work this week. Um, I gave you an extra day so you could settle into your classes and then I figured I'd send you a video at, oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, it's your principal. <laughs> Hi, Mr. What? They, this isn't the first week back from vacation. This is their second week back. They were in school all last week. Are you really? Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know you. Yeah, you have a good day too. Okay, bye. Hi, friends. <laughs> um, so I just got back from my vacation. The trip from uh, the DR got delayed, so I was there an extra week. I'm finally back. And now that it's spring and it's getting warm and everything, a lot of us are thinking about planting our gardens. So I wanted to look at seeds and seed identification. I looked around my house at some of the seed packets I had to plant, but then also some of the seeds that I just find in my hand. I found some seeds and some of them are obvious and some of them aren't. Like here is a pepper. I have a red pepper, but they come in all different colors. So this pepper inside of it has little tiny seeds like this. These are pepper seeds. These seeds grow into plants that could have anywhere from five to 10 or even more peppers on them. This is a little tiny tomato. It's a great tomato. It's really great. In this tomato, they have little tiny seeds. This one's dry, but when you cut this seed open, the seeds look a little different. Tomatoes come in a lot of sizes and colors as well, but most of the seeds are around that size. My favorite, broccoli. Look at the seeds that grow a broccoli plant. These are so tiny. One seed will grow into a big plant that will have a whole head of broccoli like this. Isn't that funny? That something that tiny makes something this big. These are fruits because they have the seed inside of them. But this is the beginning of a broccoli flower. And then when the flower is pollinated, it has a seed pod that has these inside of it. A carrot. Look at these seeds. They're so super tiny. I think these seeds probably come from an overgrown carrot at that flowers as well, but I honestly have never seen it because I'd always dig them up and eat them. And these being vegetables are parts of the plant that we eat, right? This part is the root, so it grows under the ground. You don't see this whole carrot, you just see the greens on it. This part is the flower. That's the part of the broccoli that we eat. Other seeds that I found in my house actually look a lot like what they are. These are bean seeds. This is four different types of beans that I had in my house. Some of them have speckly colors on them. Some are just one color. But these beans will grow into plants or vines that will have the pods in it and these beans are inside of it. Some of them you could eat the pods and some of them you just eat the beans. Can you guess what this one is? That's a weird looking one, they're really lumpy. This one is a beet. But this is gonna grow into a nice juicy beet that grows underground, the root, right? The vegetable part that we eat or the plant part that we eat of this vegetable is the root. These are sunflower seeds. These are two different types of sunflowers. This is a black oil sunflower seed. And this might be a giant one or a gray stripe. I'm actually not sure. I just found it in the bird food. But these both will grow up into big, huge sunflowers. And you know where the seeds are there, right? They're inside the flower head. So these are seeds that we eat. The beans are seeds that we eat. Here's some other seeds that look just like we eat, except they're dry. They don't, they don't look like this. Don't eat them when they look like this. This is corn. 
So each corn kernel is its own seed and will grow into a corn stalk. And corn stalks have anywhere from three to five ears of corn on them. What? Ears of corn. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. So this is a pea. These each will grow into a plant then. You can eat the pea pods or the peas will be inside the pods when you take them out. This one, can you guess what that one is? Yeah, it's a peanut. I like eating those. I haven't grown those. Maybe I'll try it. Although, I never seem to have a lot of those seeds around. Hmm. These seeds kind of all look alike, don't they? They're kind of in the same family. It's a vine. This one is a pumpkin. This one is a cantaloupe or a melon. This one's a cucumber. They all pretty much look alike, don't they? Some of these I found uh, in my gardening supplies, but some I actually found in my kitchen in the pantry. Some other ones that you might find in your pantry. This is a sesame seed. I don't know what that looks like when it grows. I've never tried it. I'm usually busy eating it. And then we also have Christmas sprinkles, right? So you've got the round ones and you've got the long ones. I don't know what those plants look like either. Do you know what that looks like when you plant it? Wait. So why don't you take a look around your house? I found some things in my gardening supplies and in my pantry. What kind of seeds can you find in your house? Or maybe look around your yard. There might be a lot of different seed pods out there from different flowers or things that grew. See if you can identify what the seeds are. Compare them. Line them up from biggest to smallest. Group them by color or by texture. How many can you find? Write all the names down. Let me know. Have a good time.